Hi friends, it's Gloria from Golden Bucket Farm. I'm the Jersey Lady One on YouTube. And today I'm sharing a baby girl dress chipboard album from Saw Crafters on Zibit. This is about the third one I think I've done. And uh, I also did two of the little boy onesies that are the same, same idea. And I've seen that um, some other folks have been using them now too and had some videos up and so this is a really fun little project as a baby gift and there there won't be um, duplicates of it if you take it for a shower gift so I used uh, the doodle bug collection paper collection for this I think there's maybe one page in here that I used some single sheet that I had bought at Walmart the embellishments are the baby girl I think it's baby girls uh, from Kane company yep and I did the put it together with rings and used tulle and satin ribbon and um, some lace from my stash to do the coverings for that so okay all right this one says my darling little girl I did uh, put these uh, together using uh, Xyron adhesive. So I just ran the chipboard through the, my Xyron machine and then put it down on the back of the pattern paper and then used the craft knife to go around the edges and ink the edges. So it's pretty straightforward and uh, once you do a couple pages, this scallop at the bottom, you kind of will find the right angle to put your knife and uh, I can do a real clean cut. So, okay, that's the front one. And this one has all kinds of little sayings and little pictures. Night, night, sweet pea, first curl, rocking horse and patty cake and stuff like that so most of the stuff that I put on as far as ribbons and lace are just things that I have from my stash this is a good way to use you know the tail ends of little pieces of lace and things I think this might be the paper that I got just singly at Walmart <clears throat> This one is this little piggy nap time so big snuggle bug and I did use I didn't use all the same colors of uh, edging ink I used different you know, different ones according to the paper and this one um, this pretty metal embellishment I got from as a gift part of a little sheet of embellishments from Saw Crafters as a thank you gift from one of my orders and I ran on a good sale on K and Company Borders. Oh, that's my husband mowing. You can hear that. I have to talk a little louder over that because it's finally dried out here enough for him to be able to get out and cut. So it's on the rider. It had been in the shop so glad to have it back. Anyway, these, um, this is a, from a glitter pack of borders, but there's um, nice printed ones too. Okay, I'll turn it around. This one says little one, and it has some little safety pin decorations at the top. This is Sweet Baby Girl, and these little... These little embellies are up on little foamies here and at the bottom. It's got, oh, so cute, little socks, and little birdie and butterfly. Here's my favorite decoration of all time is Saw's Flatback Pearls, and they were such a, a bargain, just, a, you know, yards and yards, and I don't know, I guess maybe not going to carry those anymore, so, oh, geez, I hope we can find a, 
um, USA supplier of something like that because I just love to use them. This says adorable. Here I just made a little flower out of some ribbon and a little jewel. Oh, here he comes around again. Okay, this is another one of these. Um, okay, I hope he goes the other direction. All right, this is uh, some more of the K and Company borders. Um, and I just turned the paper on the diagonal like that. Here I used one of my gems and colored it with the Sharpie. And then this one says, cutie. And these again are, are well, I guess I cut this bottom one out of um, using my Martha Stewart eyelet punch, the edge punch, and just put some decorations on it and then use little satin ribbon for the edges. This is one of the K and Company borders again. So, yeah, anyway, I really. I hope that the moms who get these um, have been and will be enjoying them as much as I have had fun making them. My next project is, uh, I just made a video about it, um, using the Bow Bunny Happy Tales paper collection and, and the embellishments that go with that and the little journaling cards and that. I haven't made it yet, but my mom asked me to do a dachshund doggy album. So I think I'm going to do that 8x8 eight eight, uh, black chipboard album with that. Here he comes. Okay. Um, black chipboard for that album with rings and um, I'm really anxious to, to do that. I think there's enough probably to do three albums from the stuff that I got. So I want to do one for us, for our cats and dogs, and then one for my sister, too. So, have projects coming up. Right now, I really need to go in the kitchen. The tomatoes are overflowing, and I need to make some salsa. And my husband likes um, V8, so I'm going to try to make some homemade V8 and can that up for him, too. So, um, happy crafting, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.